What's up, water signs? Here to do your reading. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the weekend. Water signs. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment if it resonates. This is going to be your weekend reading. All right, y'all. I don't know why this Palo Santo is so hard to light. Okay. Cleanse the energy. All right, water signs. So, water signs, I'm going to need y'all to stay out of any online beef any online drama uh i feel like somebody's being messy on the internet water signs um especially it could be cancer pisces scorpio which is you and then we got um aquarius and gemini out here as well so i feel like it's some bullshit going on online here it says tuned in internet connected so somebody's like watching some sort of drama online uh mind your business whoever that is and then it says drama queen thirsty causing chaos so it's definitely a karmic being messy on the internet then we got history past happened so something about an old situation or a past situation or something also i'm getting like water signs if you're in a relationship I would be mindful of like, like boasting about it online or like showing off your relationship online or something because whoever this person is that you're dealing with, I don't feel like they're on the up and up. It says playing games. So you could be dealing with a player, somebody that's playing games with you, trying to fuck you over and shit. Um, this man could like to wear pink or I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's some type of player or something. Then it got express your feelings. So, I don't know. For some of you, you can be getting into it online. Some messy shit also with like, um, like a gay or a bisexual dude. It's like some messy shit going on with somebody. Especially this masculine energy. I feel like it's a masculine energy out here that's kind of bitch made. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's what I'm seeing here. This man is, like, immature as fuck. It says lacks maturity. So, yes, this is somebody who hasn't grown the fuck up yet. They're childish. They act like a fucking kid. They play games. They don't know how to express themselves. Or they do express themselves in, like, feminine ways. It's like a bitch-made-ass nigga out here. I don't know if this person's trying to come for you on the internet. Or... If you're dating this person, that's why I said somebody needs to be mindful of like, like, um, parading around a relationship or something because whoever this person is that you're dealing with, water signs, I don't feel like they're on an up and up, like real shit. This is not somebody you need to be bragging about, okay? Because this person may end up embarrassing you. Or for some of you, they did already with history in the past happen. Or this person could be, yeah, this person's messy. It's like somebody's out here saying something or throwing shade or being petty online or some shit. And I feel like water signs, you may be tuned in and paying attention and watching this shit also. It's like somebody wants some attention this weekend. So they're going on the internet and they're being messy or trying to start shit or be shady or something about something that happened in the past. So, yeah, just be mindful of it. I don't think I showed with this dude. No, I did Hold on, water signs. Because I thought I showed with this. But I didn't. Yeah, water signs. You can have a kid with this person. So, for some of you, this may be like a baby daddy or something. Or a baby mama for some of you masculine men or this could be like same sex relationship for somebody out here and somebody's being petty because it is two men out here so 
like water signs, you may want somebody to express themselves, but they're too immature to do that. So they're taking it to the internet or social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, all that type of shit. So just try to stay out of whatever the fuck this is or just ignore it. reverse especially especially if you're dealing with a gemini or a virgo i don't know what's going on here i'm i'm really i'm feeling like it's like somebody's in a relationship with somebody's playing games with them but it's like they're trying to defend this relationship online or they're bragging about it and getting embarrassed or something like that so it's just like try to keep your personal business off of the internet water signs or like i said if this is this person it could be a virgo a Gemini and Aquarius. If somebody out here or another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if somebody's trying to drag you into some online shit, some messy shit, I would just avoid it at all costs. Like, don't even watch it. Like, don't even tune in. Don't go lurking on nobody pages and shit. I would just ignore the shit. Like, real shit. Because it's like somebody out here just wants some fucking attention. It's like they're stirring shit up on purpose. Magician reverse. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody feels like they got the T on you. Oh, so, yeah, I don't know. Water sign. Somebody, if you're in a relationship, it's like somebody out here feels like they got the T on you and your man or something. Or you and your girl. I don't know. And, I mean, they just might. Because whoever this man is, they're the magician reverse. This is somebody who play games and shit. We got it out here twice. We got playing games in the magician reverse. Yeah, so y'all, somebody, somebody out here dealing with somebody that ain't shit. They are playing games and shit. It's like it may be somebody out here. Look at that, five of wands flipped out of the deck. Telling you this is drama, petty shit, arguments, disagreements, messiness, haters, jealousy. Like yeah, don't even entertain this shit. I mean, I, you can if you want to, but I really feel like somebody out here might end up getting embarrassed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because somebody feels like they got the... If you're in a relationship, water sign, somebody feel like they got the T on your relationship, but I feel like they do, because whoever you're with, this masculine energies, this masculine energy is out here playing games and shit, so if somebody feel like they got the T on you i would be mindful of like trying to come for somebody on social media or them trying to come for you because somebody out here does i don't know if they got receipts or not but it does look like here's like i'm feeling like somebody got the tea on somebody's relationship that this man or whoever they're dealing with is is ain't shit basically and i, and I feel like somebody's been waiting to put this out there too so, yeah. Let's see. Water signs. Yeah, three of cups. I'm telling you, it's a, a messy situation. Cancer, you're out here. Gemini is out here. Virgo is out here. Uh, Aquarius is out here. Three of Cups reverse. It's a third party situation. It's a cancer that could be really causing some bullshit online. Real shit. Because they feel like they got played or something. There's a lot of gossip going on in a friendship circle, a friendship group, group with the Three of Cups reverse. A third party situation. Somebody could be fucking with somebody's friends and shit. Especially if it's a cancer or a Virgo or a Gemini. One more. Yeah, we got the Ten of Wands reverse. So, yeah, somebody's just dropping. Yeah, somebody here is just dropping a situation. Like, something here is just too childish, too petty, too low vibrational. Well, this could be at a party or a gathering or something with the Three of Cups reverse. Um, and I feel like shit just may go left. 
And then we got an emperor out here. Yeah, I feel like this man, this could be, it could be an Aries, but I feel like this man could be somebody who tries to act like they're the emperor, but behind closed doors, they be playing games and shit. Clarify this emperor. Yeah, I feel like whatever this drama is, like your overall energy for the weekend is the emperor. So this, all of this drama and chaos is over a man. Why is the emperor here? Or a masculine energy. It's like a karmic out here is feeling like they got played. Yeah, ten of wands reversed. Like it's a karmic out here that's feeling like they're getting dropped because this man. Even though he used to be on some bitch ass shit in the past, I feel like he's starting to step into his power. It's a karmic out here that doesn't like that shit. So she's trying to talk shit online, um, maybe put some of this masculine's business out on the internet or something. But like I said, like water signs, if you're in a relationship, you could be in a relationship with somebody. And I'm not going to lie to you, whoever this is that you're in a relationship with, it does look like infidelity out here. This person could have stepped out on you and whoever they stepped out on you with, this bitch is trying to cause some chaos over the internet and shit. Because it's like maybe this masculine energy is trying to cut this third party off. The Ten of Wands reverses out here. Somebody's trying to drop this burden. It's like they're trying to drop this burden and step into their maturity. But it's like a karmic energy out here that's not finna let that just happen so easily. So somebody out here is definitely being messy online because they feel like they got played by somebody. Why is the magician reverse? Yeah, eight of wands reverse, but I'm, yeah, whoever this player energy is, whoever this is who was playing games and shit, this shit's backfiring on his ass. Eight of wands reverse, this return to sender energy out here. This player or this masculine energy could be experiencing delays or it could be some sort of emergency for this masculine energy. I don't know if this person is having like car trouble or they don't have a car. Maybe they need a ride or something. Why is the eight of wands reversed? But it's definitely some energy that's been that's backfiring on this player type of energy. This motherfucker who was playing games and shit. Why is the eight of wands reversed? Yeah, two of swords reversed because somebody made some sort of decision on this person. Let's see, two of swords reversed. Or this man could be bisexual. He could go both ways. Is somebody trying to air him out about that? Yeah, king of cups. Yeah, because he's in love with somebody. It's like he's trying to drop a third party. He's trying to drop a karmic energy. But this person whoever this karmic is she's not trying to let that shit happen but like i said something could come out about this masculine sexuality i mean because we do got two men out here we got a king of cups and an emperor someone also could be like messing around with like a boss at work somebody could be messing with their supervisor or manager or that's the King of Cups here. Yeah, temperance. Yeah, whoever is a masculine energy out here that wants to reconcile with somebody, possibly a Sagittarius or some shit, or this Sagittarius wants to reconcile with somebody. But I feel like in order for this reconciliation to happen, they have to drop some other situation. And I feel like they're trying to do that. And it's pissing this karmic off. So she may try to like expose something about him. Or throw some type of shade. Or try to make it seem like. Well your man want to get back with you. He want to cut me off. But he was never faithful to you bitch anyway. He been fucking with me for blah 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 blah. Like this is that type of energy. It's like a, it's a karmic energy out here mad. Because they're getting cut off. Because this man wants to go reconcile with somebody else. Or they want to grow the fuck up and actually be committed to somebody else. And she probably would. 
she probably was waiting on him. She was trying to be the chosen one, or she this is the this is pick Misha. It's a bitch out here mad. She not getting picked by this masculine energy. So now she's trying to start shit or cause some sort of chaos. Why is the three of cups reverse? Yeah, Hermit card. Yeah, but it is somebody out here that's trying to stay out of the mix, stay out of the drama. Hermit card. Yeah, somebody could be at home watching this shit happen online. I don't know if they're going to say something or not. If it's a Virgo, Virgo's not trying to get their hands messy in this shit. So Virgo is watching, but they not saying shit. Yeah, strength card. Or if it's a strip card, if it's a Leo Virgo cusp, like they see it, but they're not saying shit. Yeah, it's like a, um, it's a Leo Virgo cusp out here or a Virgo or a Leo that's not even speaking on the situation. They see it, but they not getting involved type shit. They pulled their energy back with the strength card. Yeah, because this karmic, I'm telling you, it's a karmic out here. Devil, it could be a Capricorn, but it's a karmic out here that is obsessed. Devil with the Ten of Cups. It's a karmic out here that's upset because she's getting dropped. She thought that she was going get to get the Ten of Cups with this masculine. And even if it's still somebody out here that could be married to somebody, but devil energy, whoever they're married to is obsessed with somebody else. So if you're in a relationship, be mindful. Your person may have eyes or they could low-key be obsessed with a third party. Or if you're in a relationship, your person could have cheated on you, lied, told this third party that they was going to be with them and they were going to leave you to go be with them and shit. And that's not what's happening here. Somebody's getting dropped like a bad habit and now they're trying to clown like real shit. Because this person wants to be faithful again or they want to go back to their marriage. They want to go back to their wife or they want to go back to their ex or some shit. That's the ten of wands reverse. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, somebody is literally dropping a situation so they can go be in a relationship with somebody else. It definitely could be like a twin flame situation. It could be involving a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, so it's so if you're a water sign and you've been parading around a relationship on social media, knowing that your person is in love with somebody else, you try to block this person from going to going towards this person that th you know deep down inside they're actually in love with. Like, that's just not going to end well. I still feel like somebody out here is getting dropped. Because this masculine is stepping into his power. He's showing up as the emperor and the king of cups. This emotional pull that he has towards somebody else has become too strong. So it don't matter what you say about this person on the internet, what you try to put out about him, or what they try to put out about you. I feel like this emperor is trying, he's going to go after what he wants. Real shit. This person that he's in love with, temperance, this earth angel or a Sagittarius. Or this could be a Sagittarius man with a water placement that's doing this. Yeah, it could be a cancer that's drinking and gets online, just posting shit, saying shit. That was a full line, yeah. Yeah, two of wands. Somebody out here feel like they chose the wrong path. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, somebody out here feels like it's unrequited love. What is the Ace of Cups reverse? Yeah, if somebody out here feels defeated because somebody come to find out somebody like never really loved somebody out here. Like this was like fake love. Like somebody was literally just in a relationship playing around with somebody just to pass the time because the whole time they heart was really already belonged to somebody else. So water sign, this is either you or this is somebody else. 
Yeah, somebody out here was never in love with the person they were with. They were just pretending because the person that they truly were in love with just wasn't paying their ass no attention. Now they feeling defeated. Something that somebody out here is playing games is backfiring on their ass. Eight of Wands reverse and the Five of Swords reverse. Somebody out here feels defeated. They tried to use a karmic to make a divine partner jealous and it didn't work. Now they're stuck with this karmic, but now they finna drop this karmic to go towards this counterpart. Five of Swords reverse. I don't know which role you are in this situation, water signs, but you know where you fit in it. Okay. Five of Wands, yeah. And it's gonna put somebody in the Eight of Swords energy. Now they, they don't know what to do. They feel back into a corner because these games, this mind trickery and bullshit that they were trying to do didn't work. I'm telling you, somebody out here used a karmic to try to make a divine counterpart feel jealous and it didn't work. Now this divine counterpart is paying this person no attention and this person is feeling defeated in, in the Eight of Swords energy. Like they're feeling anxious, their anxiety. This person could be... um a misogynist especially if it's a gemini libra and aquarius this is the type of person who has a problem with women or like when a woman hurts his feelings or bruises his ego then he wants to be spiteful and get back at that person and all this type of shit i was eight of swords here yeah, because it's a missed opportunity. It's a masculine energy out here they tried to use a karmic to make somebody else jealous but it didn't work Whoever they were trying to make jealous is still still isn't interested in their ass. Ace of Wands reverse. It's also a karmic out here that's in a relationship with somebody. And they're all up in their head. Eight of Swords reverse because they're wondering why this masculine isn't having sex with them anymore. Ace of Wands reverse. Especially if you're in a relationship with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. You guys aren't having sex. Somebody out, here, somebody out here is in their head about that. Why this masculine energy won't give them no more dick? Why, why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Why isn't this masculine giving up the D? Hang hey man, because they're enlightened about something. Because they realize who their, who their person truly is, where their heart really belongs. That's why this person is stuck thinking and wanting to be somewhere else. Especially if it's a Pisces. I was a hangman. Yeah, six of cups. See, it's something from the past that's bothering this masculine. He done fucked up some shit with a divine counterpart and got himself in another situation. So now it's a missed opportunity or this counterpart isn't interested in his ass anymore. But this masculine energy being focused on this counterpart and feeling in love with somebody that he fucked up an opportunity with, it's like it's pissing this karmic off because now she ain't even getting no dick. Real shit, this masculine energy is focused on this person that is not interested in him no more. Why well, is the emperor here? Yeah, this emperor wants to come out of the cold with somebody. Five of Pentacles reverse. He's also trying to recover his finances or some sort of financial loss. Maybe he's been struggling with finances lately, but he's trying to overcome that. He's trying to let go of this toxic connection with this karmic that he know he really not in love with. And he's also trying to recover his finances too. And he's trying to come out of the cold with this, whoever this is that he's in love with. Why is the, feminine, the Five of Pentacles reverse? This is the highest cost. I don't know why I'm singing Maxwell. Yeah, seven of wands reverse. This person is struggling financially. This masculine energy. This is somebody who don't know how to set boundaries and shit. This is somebody that's a pushover. So this man is kind of weak. He kind of a he kind of bitch made. Yeah, he's trying to return to somebody, reach out to somebody. Eight of uh, Cups reversed with the Page of Wands. He's trying to reach out to somebody that he's been watching at a distance with the Three of Wands. But somebody here that moved on, Six of Swords. Whoever this is he's watching or trying to reach, reach out to, they've moved on already. 
Like they're not interested anymore. They've moved on. It's a missed opportunity. So this masculine is chasing somebody that doesn't even want him. Yeah, Page of Swords. I'm telling you, he's lurking, watching somebody. Or this is you lurking on this masculine. Yeah, because this karmic energy, whoever this karmic female is, she's trying to figure out what got this man's attention. Yeah, five of wands. I feel like she figures it out. Now it's some drama, jealousy, an argument about whatever it is. Whoever this person is masculine has been spying on and shit. Yeah, nine of cups. I'm telling you, he's spying on somebody that's single, happy, living their best life, kicking it, living life how they want to, having their way and shit. It's like this masculine wants to be with this nine of cups energy. <sighs> Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, because he felt like he could have had the ten of pentacles with this person. Yeah, I feel like he's going to try to reach out to her real shit, but six of swords, she's long gone. Yeah, so anyway, water signs, this has been a reading. Please like, share, subscribe. I will holler at y'all later. Peace.